but Turbiev wins an extremely close majority decision. I thought this was a really close fight. And so first of all, I'm going to need the community's help scoring this fight. Get down in the comment section right now. Tell me your thoughts on the fight. Who do you think won and why? That's always the important question. Why? Like which rounds and, and why th that person won those rounds in particular? This is a very hard fight for someone like me to score because I judge off hard and clean punches. And I feel like b was landing the, the, the cleaner punches on average and Baturbiev was landing the harder ones on average. So uh, another weird thing is you, you have big portions of some rounds where Bivol is like controlling and dominating for like two thirds or even more of the round. And then for 30 to 60 seconds, Baturbiev was just chasing him down and just beating him up. And so it, it becomes really hard to score because it, there's there's so many back and forth moments like that. Uh, hit the like button right now. It's right below. Hit the like button, subscribe, hit the notification bell because we got some analysis coming soon. This is going to be short. Let's talk. If you had Bivol to win against Baturbiev or you wanted him to win, the biggest X factor or important question was, does Bivol have the uh, or Bivol have the power or at least accuracy to hurt Baturbiev enough to consistently discourage him? Um, and if the answer is yes, then he could outbox Baturbiev because he could keep him away and outbox everyone like how he normally does. And if he can't do that, then Baturbiev was going to walk through him like how he normally does. We knew what both of them were going to do. We just didn't know how the styles were going to clash all the way. And the answer that we saw, it wasn't really a clear yes or no question. At times, especially in the early rounds, it seemed like the jabs and the probes were freezing up Baturbiev um, combined with the feints. But then it seemed like Baturbiev just didn't care. And, and at some points he was walking through everything that B-Wall had to offer and he was just beating him down. Uh, and and B-Wall would just respond by circling away in his high guard. Then at other times, B-Wall would counter and follow up with combinations and that would discourage Baturbiev for a significant portion of time. And then at other times, uh, but, uh, Baturbiev would just walk through those combos. Like he would get hit with the combos. He'd just go right back to work. This was a super competitive fight worthy of a rematch. There might be some people saying robbery. That's what happened. Every, every close fight, people, people say robbery. I mean, what do you expect? There's going to be some people to say that below. Who cares? I think a lot of people either believed uh, B-Vol would completely outbox Baturbiev because Baturbiev, like he just... He, you, you know how he fights. He fights like Jason Warriors. He'll just like walk in, right? Or on the opposite end of things, Baturbiev would dominate the, uh, uh, Baturbiev would just run through him like how he's been doing everyone else. But we see that they're on the same level, which you, you, you kind of expect that. These are two highly elite fighters and it would have been crazy if one of them just completely dominated the other. Although some people may feel that it may have went either way with, with those extremes. I don't know. Uh, I do think Bivol started to fade in the later rounds and Baturbiev started to catch up to him and open up. Uh, they've shown that they can put each other in danger and they've shown that they can both give each other boxing issues. This is a great matchup. This is a, and, and the, the pace was very interesting. There was a lot of probing and tapping and touching. And at times there was a lot of combination punching. The thing is, Bivol was most in danger when there were exchanges. Notice that. Uh, and that's where he got hurt a couple of times in, in those early and middle rounds and even in, in some of the later rounds. But Turbiev found himself in danger when uh, Bivol would bait him in and land heavy counter shots and, and follow up with the combos. So those exchanges are, were dangerous for both, but mostly for Bivol because Baturbiev hit so damn hard. Early on, almost immediately in that first round, I could tell, okay, this is going to be a battle of the lead hand. So whoever's pumping out their jab, getting their opponent to react to it, controlling their opponent with the lead hand, that's who's going to be in control of the fight. And and for the rest of the fight, that was true. The rounds where Bivol had a high output, he was constantly pumping out a jab or a probe. Baturbiev was froze up for a significant portion of those rounds. And the same was true for Baturbiev when he was touching Bivol with that lead hand. He was just beating on him, right? Now, to finish it off, this fight got really interesting when they both started developing counters to each other's jabs. And and that's when they started getting into the exchanges uh, and where both of them got hurt, right? Bivol hurt uh, Baturbiev as well. Now, someone might get finished in the rematch. Tell me your thoughts on this fight. Tell me your thoughts on the rematch. Just tell me your thoughts on the event in general. That's all. Y'all get an analysis later. I'm out.